Hey, Dr. John here at Life Spa Ayurveda. Today I want to talk about Ayurvedic self-inquiry, or what the Vedic text called critical analysis, where we become critically aware of old, unwanted patterns of behavior. You know, one study showed that 95% of the things we think and say and do as adults come from impressions in the very first six years of our life, suggesting that many of us are really quite unconscious. And Ayurveda understood that we walk around unconscious and the goal of Ayurveda was for us to become conscious. And to do that, we have to become more self-aware. We have to become aware of patterns of behavior we created as young children that served us well then, but aren't serving us well any longer. And that's what self-inquiry or critical analysis is all about. I'd like to invite you to download or take advantage of my free self-inquiry guide, which is a step-by-step self-inquiry journal where you go through steps of self-inquiry and critical analysis to become more self-aware so you can take action to free yourself from those old patterns. There's sort of two steps in the process in Ayurvedic psychology. The first step is to become more self-aware, right? Um, and once you become more self-aware of the truth versus the non-truth, and in Ayurveda, the, the whole point of Ayurveda is to actually do that. Ayur means life, Veda means truth. So all of Ayurveda is really about letting the truth of you out. So the first step is to become more self-aware. Yoga, breathe, meditation, that stills your nervous system. It allows you to sort of pull back the bow and hold that string very, very still, and then take action and then shoot the arrow. If you pull back the bow and your mind is going all over the place and you're worrying about this and worrying about that, you have no level of internal composure and calm. If you shot that arrow, you would never find the arrow. But if you pull back the bow, establish being, establish yourself in your own silence, and then take action, it's a metaphor of archery or, or what's called Don or Vade, you can make that action becomes transformational, right? So that's how we do it. And in the, in, while you're in, uh, you know, in a retreat or doing one of our cleanses or on vacation, or even while you're working, you can still go through this free self-inquiry guide and start to chip away at patterns of behavior that you're not completely aware of, you kind of know they're out there, but when the fruit ripens, it's an opportunity for us to take action to free ourselves from those old patterns. One of my old favorite sayings is, to the extent that something or someone affects you is to the extent that it is your karma, which means action. So to the extent that something in your life is affecting you in a negative way, is to, the oper- is to the extent that it's an opportunity for us to take transformational action and free ourselves from those old patterns. I've got lots of articles and videos on Ayurvedic psychology. You can dig in more, but please don't forget this really cool self-inquiry guide. It takes you step-by-step step with these questions you have to ask yourself and answer and kind of drill deep into some of those, the reasons why we have those underlying patterns of behavior that make us do the same dumb things again and again in our lives that we can change, that we have the ability to, to free ourselves from. All right, thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Viard. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. If you're watching it on my website, please um, subscribe to our newsletter and check out our Ayurvedic store, where all our Ayurvedic organic herbs on your way out. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Viard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.